Well, hello everybody. Um, this is Creepy Places Global. I'm currently at the Charles de Gaulle Airport awaiting my trip home to Boston. Um, so this will probably be the first video in my series from France, even though it might appear, even though I filmed it last, a um, place called Pierre Lachant Cemetery. Um, you're gonna have fun with this one because I can't speak French. I only know a few phrases and I butchered the language and the names of locations, so I constantly make frequent references to that. And in future videos, um, there shall be uh, shots of various uh, famous landmarks in France, and I mean Paris in general. So uh, I hope you enjoy these, this uh, sharing my experience in France with a little bit of uh, history and creepiness and ghost hunting. And don't forget, I actually still have three episodes still coming from England, I just haven't um, gotten around to finishing them up, and plus ones from New England. So, so Père Lachaise Cemetery is the first one, but don't forget, there'll be more. Goodbye. Au revoir. Père Lachaise Cemetery is a 119-acre historic cemetery located at 16 Rue de Rapu in Paris, France. This non-denominational cemetery is the largest in Paris and was named after a Jesuit priest and a confessor to King Louis XIV, François de Lachaise, who lived from 1624 to 1709. Before the establishment of the cemetery, the area was a poor district until about the 17th century, when Jesuit priests began building and living at the area. In 1763, the Jesuits were evicted and the land purchased by a baron, but the property was later ransacked during the Revolution and by the Empire. In 1804, the land was purchased by the city since new cemeteries were needed to combat the dreadful burial conditions of France that often led to disease outbreaks. Initially called Cimetière de l'Est, the cemetery was established by Napoleon, who declared that every citizen has the right to be buried regardless of race or religion. Alexander Theodore Brunia was commissioned by Napoleon to create the layout of the cemetery, while Nicolas Fouchou was the urban planner for the property. On May 21, 1804, the cemetery was opened, with the first burial being that of a five-year-old named Adelaide Payada de Vinive. At first, the cemetery did not have much business due to its location from the city and the fact that Roman Catholics refused to be buried in the cemetery that has not been blessed by the church. However, the administrators of the cemetery conducted a marketing strategy that helped the cemetery grow, including in 1817 with the transfer of the remains of French poet Jean de la Fontaine and playwright Jean Baptiste Pochna into the cemetery. By 1830, 33,000 residents were buried in there, and the cemetery was expanded in 1824, 1829, 1832, 1842, and 1850, with parts of its growth coming from the fact that some bodies in smaller cemeteries were transferred there. Today, there are about one million residents buried in the cemetery, including many who were cremated and their urns placed at the property's columbarium. The location also has become popular with tourists due to a few famous burial plots. One of them is Oscar Wilde, an Irish writer and poet who is best known for his novel The Picture of Dorian Gray and the play The Importance of Being Earnest. He died on November 30th, 1900 from cerebral meningitis at the age of 46. Initially he was buried at Cimetière de Banu but his remains were transferred to Père Lachance in 1909. Another famous resident is Jim Morrison. Morrison was the lead singer of the popular and influential American rock band, The Doors, with popular songs like Light My Fire, People Are Strange, and Break On Through to the Other Side. On July 3rd, 1971, Morrison was found dead in a bathtub in a Paris apartment from an apparent drug overdose at the age of 27. The burial site is often visited by fans, but some have vandalized the surrounding area. The area does have a paranormal reputation, 
being considered by some to be one of the most top haunted locations in France. There are reports of apparitions being captured in photographs, including one that is claimed to be the ghost of Jim Morrison himself. Now, here is Père Lachance Cemetery. Heading to the Père Lachaise Cemetery, which I think I'm pronouncing correctly, but don't count on me. Just came from here, Père Lachaise Metro, that line, which is line two, if I remember right. And now I'm heading to Père Lachaise Cemetery, which has a very, a few very famous people buried in there. And it's right over there. Pretty much, if there's a wall, it's a cemetery. Now the fun part begins, trying to figure out where the entrance is. Well, here's the wall to the cemetery. Uh, just gonna figure out how to get in there. That's always been the challenge with some areas of Paris. It's not necessarily hard to get to places, it's just hard to find out where the hell how you, how you get into the places. Just passed a bunch of uh, infants or children. Earlier, I guess it's a school day. And. This will be my last location I will go to in Paris, since I'm going home tomorrow. Um, unless the catacombs are open. But I bet I've checked down there two times already and the catacombs have been closed. So I'm hoping, you know, might be luck, I'll go by there. And if not, um, I guess I'll go to the someplace called the Eiffel Tower, you know, finally. Well. We got construction going on, but I believe this is the entrance to the cemetery. Pierre okay, Lachance Cemetery. Which, like I said, I'm really hoping I'm pronouncing correctly. Uh, I don't know if I have to pay to get in. Some cemetery, cemeteries you pay to get in. Uh, and if not, uh, good. If so, well, I'll pay anyway. And uh, I hope uh, I'll turn next time we're on. We'll walk around the cemetery. In case you have a guest, I'm in the cemetery. <laughs> um, reminds me of the other one I was in, um, which I've never really was able to understand how to pronounce the name. Monte Paris or something. And, once again, I like these leaves. Once again, it's pretty quiet around here. Uh, this could mean that I could do certain EVP. I won't do it in here in the street, it's too loud. But, whoa, <laughs> hello, creepy Mary. Um, there are some very famous, well-known people in here. Uh, Oscar Wilder and um, some guy named Jim Morrison. He was kind of like a famous dude or something who like made like great music or something like that. I don't know. Um, okay, actually, I do know who he is. You know, I'm not like 12. Uh, and I do have good taste in music. I am going to just want to. Actually, the fall, the leaves falling, looks pretty nice. So I will probably not at the main landmarks. It'd be probably too hard to do a ghost session in some of them. But I will. I, I this time I brought all my tools. I got the K2 meter and I got the ghost box. We'll see about the ghost box. I don't, you know, this. I don't like to causing too much distraction. Hello, how are you? Oh no, sorry, sorry. Bonjour, comment, comment, allez vous? Oh, ça va? Yeah, that was a creepy ass statue. I heard uh, this place is actually considered haunted. I don't know by the majority of French, but uh, it's considered one of the top haunted attractions along with the catacombs, which I still haven't been able to get into. Uh, boy, you kind of sense it. I'm gonna show you around, and then um, I'm gonna go find a map. I do want to go see Mr. G uh, Jim Morrison, I think his name is. <laughs> of course, yeah, again, I'm being sarcastic. I do want to see Jim Morrison. <laughs> uh, it's like it's kind of like when I went to go see the Mona Lisa, 
you know, you gotta see it. And I always liked his music. All right, I'm just gonna go find the map. Well, I looked at the map, found out where Jim Morrison is, and as I was just coming out, uh, an entire tour group just came in, or a bunch of, a bunch of people just came walking on in. So it might be a little harder to do. It's probably why, it, you know, it might be best to go off of beaten path areas where no one's really gonna go. They'll probably look for Jim Morrison, and I'm assuming that's where they're all going. That's where I'm heading. As I'm admiring statues and monuments. Creepy, they're keep it on. Well, there's no one in this area, as you can see. I'm gonna grab my DVR. Maybe wait a few minutes because I think some people are walking down, down on the other end. And then uh, we'll do an EVP session. And right about here. I got the DVR out. I'm getting kind of drawn over here. Excuse me, walk my mom's and Um Just trying to figure out how to get over there without like stepping on tombstones. Creepy. <clears throat> There's the main path, so I don't want to be on the, not a main path, but I kind of want to be a little bit out of the way, not seen, so we'll sit over here. So, get the DVR going, get right over here, <clears throat> and let me ask if my my friend uh, helped me with more French sayings. I only had like a few. So, <coughs> bonjour. E atil de esprit présent. Oop, that was me. And I gotta mark the people in the background. <coughs> Let me ask that again. E atil de esprit présent. Quel a votre nom? Savez vous que vous êtes mort? Well, so we're gonna go to Mr. Morrison's grave. Um it would be nice if I could stop getting distracted. But I think I'm heading in the right direction. I should just see if I can find a massive amount of crowds. Who's this dude? Hello, dude. Bonjour, France... Francis Arga? Francois Aragu was a French mathematician, physicist, astronomer, and politician who died on October 2nd, 1853, at the age of 67.
Spooky. Yeah, they got nice, nice flowers all winding up there. So I gotta go there, and then I think I take a right. Well, let me go up here first. I gotta go up these stairs, then I gotta take a um, right up there. But I wanted to show you this one right here. Ox, Ox Mortis. Ox mortis. <laughs> Spooky. I'm going up the stairs. Closer look. There's a cool one right over here. Paul Jacqueline Boulderie was a French painter responsible for such noteworthy paintings such as The Pearl and the Wave, created in 1862. He died on January 17, 1886. Just live, listen to the people singing. <laughs> oh, look at this one, Red Mary, all rusted. <laughs> Decapitations. Oh, I'm going in the wrong direction. That's unusual, because um, I like this statue. I believe it's Mary giving Jesus the Heimlich maneuver. Very nice of her. There's a another tall, kind of interesting statue. And we're gonna head down in that direction to go. I believe to find Mr. Morrison. Now who's this guy? Oh Baron Talor. Hello, bonjour. Yeah, it's a big cemetery. This person was apparently an artist. Here is Theodore Gelricu, a influential French artist known for the 1819 painting The Raft of Medusa. He died on January 26, 1824, at the young age of 32. But uh, I may am having I may am heading in the right direction. It's just it's it's actually a quite a long walk. I mean the cemetery is very big. That's why I don't think I'll have much problem finding an isolated area within the cemetery to do uh, no, uh some more EVPs. So okay. Ooh, like, you know, could be down there. Ooh. But, wow, look at this place. It's like a city. Oh my god, she got no arms. Or he. I don't know. Guy, girl, I can't tell. 
see a lot of people walking down that area and I'm pretty sure that's the spot we go. But I remember this little circular area. Actually for a you know, very like dead city of the dead, they actually have a lot of nice gardens and flowers around here. I like this statue over here. <laughs> Amazing. I see you. You see them everywhere. They're within the other cemetery too. If you have trouble finding a particular grave, don't be surprised. Um, it's huge here, as you can see. Um, as a matter of fact, I heard it's so big that people do some form of like uh, scavenger hunts and stuff like that. And I can see how. And it may be kind of fun too. I think this is the spot uh, that kind of gives it away. The people, the people seeing the people standing there help too. Well, he's um definitely popular in France. to his songs and lyrics galore around here. But because of vandalism, you're not allowed to step over the fence and people seem to be respecting it. There he is, the famous legend from the 60s and 70s and still a legend today. I'm gonna go around and see if I can get it from the back. Like, uh, virtually impossible to do a ghost on here. Though I did think I heard something about a photo taken in this spot, I'm not sure. That supposedly had the ghost of Jim Morrison. Come on, baby, light my fire. Be right there. It's nice to see. I like his music. Uh, you know, uh, People are strange, and when you're a stranger, um, I'm never really good with lyrics anyway, but it's cool to sing. So here's the back area. It's just so, so if you're trying to find him, he's in Division Six, and look for the fence, and probably look for people. And actually, that could help the area too. Look for that monument. 
that should help you. I mean, it's a very noticeable monument, so that really should help you. And so, I just want to say goodbye, Mr. Morrison. Um, even there is not a lot of people. And probably, again, if you want to become the pa come to Paris and you don't want to put up with too large a crowd, which is not normal, come during the weekdays and probably come during the winter time it's, or fall, because the fall trees really make it look pretty around here. I don't know where the heck I'm going. I guess I'll just go this way. Yeah, I watched him get lost in the cemetery. <laughs> Anton Nietzsche was a bohemian-born but later naturalized French composer. One thing he's known for is being a lifelong friend of Beethoven. He died on May 28, 1836. Muscle can't be. I don't know if I'm going to want to stay in here too, too long. I'm getting hungry. Maybe I'll go to Pomme de, Pomme de Pan, which is like a nice chain that has some really good sandwiches. They're cleaning up around here. Really do have a thing for gargoyles around here. Can't really see too well. Let me rest my arm. Looks like there might be a couple in here. <coughs> Looks like there's like a person hanging out of his mouth. Kind of like a little bit like a, based on some of a little bit of Notre Dame. Well, I'm done with Mr. Morrison. Um, now I'm going for Oscar Wilde, and he's like, of course, naturally has to be like on the other side of the cemetery. Uh, I looked it up on the map. Hopefully he might be, I know he's like near one of the other entrances. If I get a vibe in some of these, ooh. Maybe I'll quickly stop and do some ghost hunting stuff. Just make sure I come back to this pathway. Pierre Lachasse Cemetery 2. I might be pronouncing it wrong again. I did so well. I'll keep it right over here. Right here. And I'll grab my paper with all my French questions. I'll ask them all this time, except the resistance one. I don't know. I'm sure there's resistance members in the cemetery, but um, maybe I'll ask them anyway, you know. <clears throat> Bonjour. Como te vu? Quel a votre nom? Prénom? Beyond dentre vous son prison. All right, 
ready. I'm going to keep the DVR on, and I am going to take pictures now. I like this one. All covered in moss. A lot of them are covered in moss. So, okay. Went off the beaten path right slightly. So I'm gonna find Mr. Oscar Wilde. And then I'll probably do some more ghost stuff. I kinda packed light this time. Because most of the um, places I was going to in France were touristy areas. And so it'd be hotter. To, and I didn't want to carry, you know, like my, my mail meter and everything on the plane because I don't want to keep it in the suitcase and I don't want to get it stolen. Uh, yeah, if you're here, by the way, it might not be such a good idea to walk up a large number of stairs. You get very tired. Uh. He's liked. Here is the grave of Hippoli Leon Deniza Viva, also known as Alan Kardec, who was a French educator and one of the people who helped lay the foundation for spiritualism. He died March 31st, 1869. That was actually kind of cool. It was a sort of like a little building. The owls. I'm gonna go around. You know, considering the sun's not out, I'm having trouble picking up the light. That's a little better. I haven't seen much stuff like this in America. One way to make the cemetery more spookier is getting a black cat to walk on through. Or cha. Uh, cha noir. They honor their soldiers too. Now I'm going down to one of the other entrances. There's all these big, 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 big monuments. I think one of them might be Mr. Wild. But we'll see. Doesn't mean I can't look at it. Look at it. It looks almost like a porcupine over there. There's a birdie. Motorcycles are becoming very popular in bikes. bikes. You know, it's hard to get around Paris in a car. Over here. That's kind of cool over there. All right, I'm gonna have to go look at the map again. Well, if you want to find Oscar Wilde. Look for the crowds again. Much like the Mona Lisa, just look for the crowds. No, as I'm trying to get there. It must be. Also, the fence would work too. Tree too. I think it's threatening. Uh, 
Alaska. Guayo. Let's be buried in the back. Okay, so the two famous ones, Oscar Wilde and Jim Morrison, just look for the cages. I'll get some more shots of it. It's kind of a letdown, per se, because of the fence. It kind of ruins it, and they have this little plastic thing that has like all writing graffiti on it. But I guess it's needed. He's not the one, no? Well, let's go up here. I wanted to show you. There's like all these buildings and churches and mausoleums and mortuaries and crematories and all around here. Honorary. Yes, these must be where uh, people, maybe their ashes are stored. A nice little garden. But yeah, those are all must be with people's ashes and urns. So all around this area. Cream it must be where they burn the bodies and the smoke comes out. Right. Time for a creepy spot. A nice little obelisk or type uh, monument. I'm, like I said, I'm not, I can't show you this whole cemetery. I can't keep exploring. I've been in here almost, oof, nine, it's like three hours and I have even covered half the cemetery I mean just went to certain spots and stuff it's too big I mean this place is massive so I'm just gonna do one more spot for maybe an EVP session play around with the k2 meter and um, see if we catch anything but I want something a little bit more isolated really deep in the deep in the cemetery I don't know what the hell I just said. I just felt like saying it. Before I do my final session, I just gotta show you this tombstone. He has a head in his hand. It's uh, pretty cool, actually. Uh, they're doing a lot of work around here, so I'm trying to find a nice spot that isn't gonna be too much uh, noise. But yeah, in a very spot that I'm like getting some good feelings from. I'll find one. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard, really. Alright. I'm getting... I think this would be a good spot. Give me the creepy crows still. So I want to turn the DVR on. La Chance Cemetery number... Three or four. I'll put it right here. So, time to get the paper out. Bonjour. May voulez visitor.
Combion, Dentry, Vu, Son, Prey, Son. Sifu play. Savez vous plane kill a or plan plane kill a? Eight voot contam diatre un talre esis esis Savez-vous que vous êtes mort? Oui? Non? Okay, I got the K2 meter out. Still got the thing recording. And I'm gonna move a little bit more over here where it's a little bit darker and creepier. Bonjour. Bonjour. Perfect. E until day esprit praise on. Pigeon. Alrighty. Okay. Pouvez vous toucher the object grier un fua? Say. Yes. Pouvez vous toucher a block? Grey un fua? Me move it. Shut it off. Me move it to another spot. Bonjour. André. Bonjour, André. S'il vous plaît. Si vous play, pouvez vous toucher l'objet grey un fua? Si vous play, André? Parlez vous anglais? This low quality EVP appears to be giving me a direct response to me asking it a question in French if it spoke English by saying yes. Headphones will be necessary to hear it though since it's very difficult.
Qu'est-ce que c'est Not getting anything. Merci beaucoup. Maybe I got something on DVR. I'm doing my best with the French. Um, I said, I'm definitely not perfect over it. Ah. Let me try it over here now. Pouvez-vous toucher l'objet gray? S'il vous plaît? Esprit? L'objet gray? Toucher l'objet gray? S'il vous plaît? Nothing. Merci. Well, I haven't had much luck, as far as I know, but I got the ghost box. Maybe I turn it down a little bit. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Premier roman. This possible response seems to be saying Au premier roman, which means in English, first novel, or at the first novel. This makes sense in the contents of being in the cemetery, since there are numerous French writers and novelists buried here. Well, that was definitely French. I don't know if that meant anything. Yeah, that's definitely French. He until day esprit plays on. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Well, I'm done. I'm hungry. I've been here for hours now. I'm going to complain and cry until I get some food. Uh, which is often, often very a challenge because i got to order it in, like, French. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this creepy global adventure in Père Lanchance Cemetery. I think if I say it fast, it sounds kind of correct. And, um, well, hope you join us again. Maybe I'll end up overseas. Maybe Steve will end up overseas again. We'll have more locations from around the world. Nothing else because it's so damn foggy up here. You can see some of the buildings. Here. This is one of the parks. Better hold on to this. Wait, if you have claustrophobia or um, afraid of heights, you're screwed. <laughs> Okay.
Well, I just got back to this second portion. So I want to say second floor, but like second level of the Eiffel Tower. The top is a bit disappointing because it's so... The fog is risen, so the top is very foggy. But the second is not so bad. You can see a lot of uh, Paris. Um, I mean, you can see the buildings, I think, you, you know. But it just looks like you're looking almost all out white. Beautiful city. better view and it goes up like I said I, I did go to the top it's just you can't it's claustrophobic and it's small I mean I hate you know I, that didn't bother me so much but it's like oh, I can't do nothing up here <laughs> it's just you can't really see nothing like I said you can barely you can barely make out the buildings and it's also kind of crowded so I'm gonna show you a little bit more for a bonus scene <laughs> Well, this is my last scene. Shot I'll do. For creepy places global from France. Maybe I'll get to come back one day or go somewhere else. I have an interest in Spain and the Netherlands and Japan and China and Brazil and Mexico and so we'll see what happens in the future. Show to your prophets Trading young lives for